Today, we're diving into CatVton, another virtual try-on technology using stable diffusion and comfy UI. Imagine trying on clothes virtually with just a simple photo. CatVton makes this possible using a streamlined diffusion model. Unlike other methods that we talked about in previous videos, most virtual try-on framework are complex and resource-heavy. CatVton efficiently combines garment and person images, requiring only 49.57 million parameters. This means faster processing and less computational demand, all while maintaining high-quality results. What sets CatVton apart is its ability to perform well in real-world scenarios, even with limited training data. Whether it's complex backgrounds or special garments, CatVton handles it all with ease. Let's get started. So first, go to Comfy UI Manager. Click this custom node manager. You can install a file to get a URL. Click this button. We're going to use this CatVton custom node using this URL and installing it. Use this URL from the GitHub project. Press OK. We'll install that in Comfy UI. And once it's done, we have to close it manually. Don't restart this because we need to do an installation packages from the requirement.txt for some, some components. So, if you're using Windows with ComfyUI portable versions, use the embedded Python executable files to execute the command prompt. Installing components from the requirements.txt after you've installed, you'll see something like that. I have my Python embedded Python XE installing the requirement TXT files located in my custom node folder. So after that, go back and run your comfyui run.bat file, kickstart the comfyui server. We'll return to here. Then we can check if you've installed successfully or not. By going back to the Windows command prompt window, you'll see the comfyui catviton wrapper right there. We have imported that successfully there's no problem with our installations here. When you type CATV and you'll see CatVton wrapper custom nodes, you're ready to get started playing around with virtual try-on in your comfy UI. But before that, make sure you download the files right here. Download the model files. You can download either one of these links. I click the Google Drive link to download all the files zipped from there. Put those files into your comfy UI models folder. Create a subfolder called cat try on, then save it and you're ready to go. So once you've downloaded all the models files, they should be located in your models folder under the models folders. Create your own cat try on subfolder and you'll get all these model files like that. Then let's go back to comfy UI. You can refresh our comfy UI one time and see. So here's the workflow I've temporarily built using this cat try on wrapper custom node. So the image on top, this is going to connect our fashion model image. I have a generated image of a female and it goes to using this image as a reference. And secondly, we have a reference image in the bottom here. We're using the try on outfit. In this example, I've used a camo pattern tank top for demo. As you can see right there, it's able to generate, although the pattern is the same, but it's able to maintain the pattern. And also the logo right on top of here is able to maintain as well. You see there's the text that's curved with the body. So it's doing pretty well, better than the previous virtual try on models we've seen before. And for mask, I'm using the mask based on using the segment anything node. This is more stable and able to identify objects. The Florence to mix, SAM2 new custom node can't mask an object sometime, and I prefer to use this. And just like what we did in previous videos, we do the prompt here. Go to here. You can see that the area I'm doing the mask is the shirt area, which is referred to the model's image. This area, the white shirt, are going to be masked, and we're going to draw the mask on this region. And then we'll produce this image try on for this AI image, and it will look like this one. And we can try other clothing as well, like long sleeve hoodies. And for the shirt areas, we can do the same mask area and segmentation anything. And there you go. We have the long sleeve hoodies able to put on the try on area. But sometimes, 
if your outfit style isn't the same as the original character's mask area, then we'll need to do some masking manually, which is also doable. So, in that way, we don't need to use the segment anything model, instead we're manually connecting the mask and doing a mass editor in here. Maybe, like for example, our scenario this time is kind of a loose, loosely fit style of hoodie. So we mask a larger area of the body, and then bring back to here. Close these long sleeves. Then our system will be able to identify this area as the mass area as well and do a little fine tune it on the shoulder. Click save and we can produce again and it'll look more natural because this clothing style is kind of loosely fit. It's not a slim fit style so we have to make it a little more natural like that one. So there you go. We've got new virtual try on which is more flexible. I say you can handle the mask by yourself, just use the load image and use the mask editor, just like how you would in paint. And also you can use segmentation models like segment anything to do the mask automatically in that way. And let's try out a dress like this for example. Like this one is hard to do using segment anything. Because when you just type a shirt or the whole outfit, it'll just match the whole character as a whole. If you put an outfit you want to match the tops and bottoms of the character's outfit, it won't be able to do that either, so this is going to be another example you can try. You'll see this looks kind of weird, and even using other segmentation models will perform not as well as what you'd do manually. It sometimes depends on the scenario. You might have to do the mask area manually, so in this example, I'm going to mask the dress area as well, so the region of the lower part of this, I'll remain the legs on that part. So let it be the whole dress area that's going to be covered. And again, this isn't always going to be correct. As you can see, this area is not the same as our yellow dress. So what we've got to do is refresh again using the image without the mask and do the mask editor again by covering the whole area. There you go. This way will give more freedom for the AI to redefine how the outfit is going to try on with their character. Yep, so there you go. We can have a successful try on for the yellow dress right now. That's it for this video. It's a very quick demo. Again, these tools are very handy using this one. This virtual try on framework isn't consuming a lot of computing power like what we've experienced previously in VT try on frameworks. Now, this one is pretty good in doing consistency. It is able to maintain the logos and text on top of the outfit. Also, as you can see, the previous tank top, the camo pattern tank top, is able to maintain those patterns and logo as well. That's it for this video. I hope this inspires you guys. Try this out and I'll see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.